Hello there. My name is Anders Peterson. I'm from the Danish company, the iTribe. Here at CIS this year, we are showing off our eye tracking technology. What you see here is our developer kit, proof of concept, because this developer kit here is something that we're shipping worldwide to developers on Windows, Mac OS, and Android. And the new thing that we're announcing here at CES is our new Android SDK currently available from our website. As I just said, this is a developer kit, so not a consumer product. So why are we here at CES? Well, what we're trying to convey here is the message that the technology, this technology eye tracking has gotten so cheap and has gotten so sm small a form factor that we're now able to incorporate it into normal consumer devices like smartphones, tablets, even smart TVs, and why not cars also. With this device here, we are showing off some demos that will eventually enable us to, to convince OEMs and manufacturers to incorporate this technology into their devices. So all we need for that to work is building in an infrared light source, as you see it here, right next to the existing camera sensors. So within this box, we're using standard camera components on the market already. So this is not something that could happen five years in the future. This could happen now. We just need the, the manufacturers to incorporate this technology. But let me show you how it works. So what I'll do now is just look at the screen and walk you through a few use cases. So now I'll place myself here. The system recognizes me. I'll look at the icons and now the system knows me and I'm able to interface the, this system just using my eyes. So here I have a menu. As you can see, I am not using my hands at all or a mouse or anything to look at these icons. So now I'm looking at Fruit Ninja, Nightmare, Scroll, Major Mayhem, Gaze Galaxy, Lego, etc. Let, you show you a, let me show you a classic demo of ours. So looking at Fruit Ninja, and then here we work with an uh, idea of looking at something and then tapping in anywhere on the screen with your thumb. Because when holding a tapping, your thumbs are always in this vicinity. So looking at Fruit Ninja and just tapping once will load that demo. I'm now taking my hands completely off the device because this demo starts automatically. And in a second, instead of slicing fruit with my fingers, like you usually do in Fruit Ninja, I'll just be using my eyes. As you can see, this system is very precise, very fast, and enables you to interface with your computers in ways you haven't tried before. It's our hopes that by releasing this developer kit, we are conveying the message that this is not only for the disabled and the elderly, eye tracking is for everybody because it enables you to interface with the computer faster and more easily than what we've been used to until now. What I'm showing you here is a game, but let me show you another classic example, shutting down this demo. This is a Windows device, so as I said earlier, the dev kit here supports Windows, Mac OS, and now also Android. The developer kit that you get also gives you uh, SDKs for programming languages like C Sharp, Java, C++, and more. Our system is built so that you can easily use any programming language with it. So it's, and we also have plugins for uh, game engines like Unity and more. Let me show you another demo. This is another classic demo that many people can probably relate to. This scrolling demo here enables you to look at a given web page. It look down to scroll down, look up to scroll up. This demo is crazy simple, but what I really want to show you is how fast it is to follow a link. So again, touching the screen, looking at a button, letting go, loads that. Let me walk, do that again for you. Looking at TechCrunch, letting go, loads that. Look at this then, loads that. Normally, I would have to do this, but here I'm using touch in combination with eye tracking to do very, very fast selection, faster than anything you've ever seen before, or at least hopefully ever seen before. So that's a few of the use cases that we're showing off here at CES. If you are a developer, you can buy our developer kit from our webpage, Shipping Worldwide. All the demos I just showed you are open source on our GitHub. So go check out this developer kit, Hope, support us in creating awesome software, and hopefully you'll soon see this technology built into your devices.